सो हे वर इज गाइज दिस इज किरण ही वेलकम बैक टू टेक किरण यूट्यूब चैनल शेप शिफ्ट ओ एस विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड वर्जन टेन इज नाउ अवेलेबल फॉर रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो रेडमी नोट नाइन एस रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो मैक्स एंड पोको एम टू प्रो विच मीन्स मेयर टूल डिवाइस इफ एव एनी ऑफ दिस डिवाइस यू कैन इंस्टॉल दिस बिल्ड द बिल्ड इज रियली रियली स्मूथ इट्स बटरी स्मूथ विच यू कैन इंस्टॉल ऑन यूर डिवाइस लुकिंग ग्रेट टिल नाउ डिट गॉट एनी मेजर बर्ग्स एंड ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स अ लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स Which are those features? How this build is going on? How's the battery backup? In this video, I'm going to share with you a lot of things. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started, guys. This is Shape Shift, which I was just telling you, Android version 10, as expected. This was is this is actually unofficial build. This is a not the official build, but this just does not come with official tag. Everything seems working here. Didn't got any major bugs. It has a little bit of old security patch, which is the fifth of September two thousand twenty. So this is the thing which you might notice some of the guys and will not install this build, but the build is quite smooth. I'm using it from some time. Full screen gestures, etc. Everything seems working till now. Also, it comes with the, the Google Apps pre-installed. has the google pixel launcher pre installed which is quite amazing you can use the google feed like this one which you can see these kind of things and if you go for other things we have everything seems kind of a scrolling speed is buttery smooth and as i previously said no lags at all also it includes a very cool kind of battery backup if i show you the battery stats this is the 43% of my battery 6 hours 20 minute of screen on time which is normal it's good it's quite good it didn't got any extra drain is still now overnight it drained approximately of 3 to 4% of battery so in this things some of the users will think that this is good and some of the users will think this is not good so all all about preferences network and internet connected devices apps and notifications etc everything seems same here going for the display settings it includes very cool kind of styles and wallpaper section where you can customize your own theme if you want to but themes and styles and wallpaper does not include many themes just includes only font styles i've tried to apply you can see no colors customizations available and nothing like that just a little bit of things like the fade option available and also the uh, the option of choosing the fonts and as you can see i have applied the fonts custom fonts which are working fine till now screen timeout lock screen timeout some little bit of things are available you can customize your colors by going here to boosted adaptive or natural one natural one looks good and also you can see i'm using the full screen gestures and it has option of hiding the navigation bar pill and i am a spacer also so no issues there also i am not using the magic module to hide this navigation bar pill from here double tap to wake option is available let's try out if it is working or not so yes it's working fine here so for the users if you are looking for the double tap to wake option it's working fine it's working here going for other things sound storage privacy location everything seems same security has a very cool kind of things which includes a fingerprint which includes a face lock also includes the app lock which was not available in the corvus os latest android version 11 so if you are waiting for this kind of things app lock or pre installed then you can use the shape shift custom room which is working fine we're going to take a look at some customizations also xiaomi parts include some little bit of things like me sound enhancer touch boost and color calibration some fps info related customization xiaomi doze and ambient display gestures clear speaker one feature is missing from here if you are noticing there is no option of using the usb fast charge the option which i personally use a lot is not available so this is kind of a difficult thing from my preferences i have some issues with that but no issues it's normally quite good status bar related customizations quick settings lock screen your tuner theme engine notifications navigation and buttons miscellaneous about these are the things you get in shape shifter going for the status bar customizations you can customize your volt icon but does not include the customization of the wo wifi icons even it does not show you the option of wo wifi in my case i'm using the wo wifi which is of course working but the icon is not showing you can also customize which icons you want to show and which icons you don't want to show and as you can see there is no option of showing the wo wifi icon from here also you can also customize the volt icon there are a lot of volt icons customizations available volt asus icon volt caf hd icon emui pill shape or etc whatever also includes a double tap to sleep option too 
Quick settings include some little bit of things like blur behind quick settings and some little bit of things include the replace clear or text with the nice button which is working fine which is inspired from the oxygen OS but other things like lock skin UI tuner has some little bit of customizations with switch and one UI tint the quick setting tiles. MIUI style brightness slider, uh, MIUI style brightness slider from here, like this one. This is the MIUI style brightness slider from here. Other things same. Theme engine, yes, it includes a lot of cool kind of theming. You can also choose the ASIN color. There are a lot of options available of choosing the ASIN color, so you can customize your colors. You can customize the status bar icons, adaptive icons, dark theme, base theme, volume panel styles, and clock styles, including the fonts customizations, as I previously said. Font customizations include a lot of fonts options. So if you're a fonts lover, then there are a lot of fonts available for you. Other things kind of the same thing talking about the banking apps, unfortunately not working in my case. I've tried it was not working. I'm using the latest Magisk 20.4 here, which is working fine, but the safety status is not passed with the Magisk 20.4. Let me show you by going here. Sorry, just going to check safety net status. In my case, safety net is not passed. I have also tried to hide the magisk from here. I have also applied this magisk hide props config because I'm I'm using the magisk 20.4 because that's why maybe if you use the magisk 20.3, then it will work for you. I've tested that that was working. So you can use the magisk 20.3 and make banking apps work. Other things seem same here. These are the things I just want to share with you. It comes with the Google apps pre-installed, so you don't need to install them manually and just install the zip file everything seems done this is all thanks for watching goodbye